Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. If you like these videos, remember you can pay me back by hitting subscribe and joining Ninja Nation. And best of all, it'll ensure you never miss the best highlights and pitcher interviews on YouTube. So hit subscribe and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Chase Silseth, who became the first player in the 2021 draft to reach the major leagues. He's only 21 years old. He was born in May 2000. And he threw six shutout innings, giving up only one hit with these filthy splitters. 21 years old and making major league hitters bend the knee. Corbin Burns was his usual filthy self. With these dirty curveballs and sliders, he struck out seven. If Kevin Gosman pitched, you know I'm going to be featuring his splitter, and here are a couple of nasty splitters. That splitter is one of the most reliably filthy pitches in baseball. And of course, Gosman can also throw up mid to upper 90s. Garrett Cole had nine Ks in six and a third innings. He really showed off his overpowering fastball and mean slider. Here's an overlay of a 98 mile an hour fastball and an 88 mile an hour slider, and you can see what makes that combo so deadly. He also worked in a 95 mile an hour cutter, and here's an overlay of his fastball and cutter, and you can see that cutter just drop away, and it gets that movement at 95 miles an hour. Max Scherzer didn't have his A game, but he still struck out six hitters in seven innings. He had this wicked inside cutter, and you can see when overlaid with his fastball why that cutter is so hard to hit. That thing veers into the dead zone of a left-handed hitter's swing. Yuck. And of course, Max had his wicked changeup working too. Speaking of changeups, the best performance of the night was by Pablo Lopez. He had 11 strikeouts in seven innings with no walks. And it was mostly due to his ridiculous changeup. I mean, among starting pitchers, this may be the best changeup in baseball. Lopez is probably one of the most underrated aces in baseball. His ERA this year, 1.05. Max Fried had one of the filthiest pitches of the night, this soul-stealing 94-mile-an-hour sinker. This is a real ankle breaker, and I think technically Fried does own Cronenworth's soul now. Jordan Hicks had some vicious sliders, and check out this 101-mile-an-hour alien sinker. This thing had 17 inches of run and a ton of sink. Just a mutant pitch. My favorite filthy pitch of the night was this curveball by Framber Valdez. I mean, he made the great Juan Soto look like he'd never seen a curveball before. Look at Soto get out of the way of a curveball that catches the strike zone. Where's that Soto shuffle now, Juan? Before we get to the relievers, I regret to inform you, the Ripper has taken another victim. If you see a six foot two male wearing a mask and a blue shirt walking down the street, Call your local authorities. Now on to some relievers. Will Vest had this absolutely electric walk-off sword. This is Will's first career save, and I love the emotion. Andrew Chafin had this filthy back foot slider. Devin Williams picked up two Ks on his UFO airbender. Spencer Strider absolutely incinerated Manny Machado. 101 mile an hour elevated heat? You can't touch that. And my filthiest reliever of the night, that was Michael King. Look at this insane breaking ball that broke 21 inches, and then he followed it up with overpowering fastballs. That isn't fair. And from Korea, check out this ridiculous 98-mile-an-hour sinker from Jung Woo Young. When you get a swing at a 98-mile-an-hour sinker that ends up behind the hitter, well, that is filthy. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. It comes from Arkansas baseball. 